Oh. Got a package from Paraflex. <gasps> Two handy corn with love, Dennis. Hmm, I wonder what this could be. Oh, let's get my my Batman letter opener here and cut this bad boy open. Ah. Ah. Can you help me open this? Yes. Yeah, sure. Okay, thanks. Oh, it's an envelope. What's in the, What's in the envelope? Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's pictures of Dennis. You can hang these on the wall right oh, next to Oh, those are so pretty, is it? Oh, there's it's another a, one. It's a mustache. Oh, look at all of them. Man, that's so nice. Well, was this a break kit? Well, it looks like it. Awesome! I don't think I won the pumpkin contest, but they sent me a break kit anyways because I scared them. You are pretty Can you believe that? I do believe I, it. Are you scared of me? A little bit. Are you? A little bit. Why don't you get up out of here? Go! Yeah, I got it. I'm gonna get this thing installed. That's good. Hey guys, welcome to the JCR, I mean, Handy Corn Garage. Today I'm going to install the big brake kit that Dennis so graciously gave me from Terraflex on my Jeep, Project Crusader. I love this Jeep, but it's got big 40 inch tires, and when I'm deep into the boost, I slam down the brake pedal and it doesn't stop very well, and that's dangerous. So let's get started installing this big brake kit. Yay! All right, here we got everything laid out real nice, and the first thing I got to do is take off this big old 40. So I got my my impact wrench here and my my lug nut adapter, and we just got to get these off. All right, there's one. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, it's so hard to be a handy corn and work in a garage because you don't have like opposable thumbs. And uh, come on, you know it's really difficult sometimes to like to get tools to work, but you know, I don't let it get to me. You know, I always look on the bright side of life and I don't let my disabilities, if there are disabilities, get me down. So, you know, you just gotta take them out. Take life one at a time, scrap. All right, anyways, we got the little lug nuts off there. So now we're gonna have to um, get this tire off here. Somehow, I mean, it don't kind of weigh like, I don't know, like 100 pounds or something. So let's get this. Uh, uh. Um, oh, dang it, one more time, I gotta use the handy corn super strength, oh, yeah, oh, take that tire. All right, the next step here is to uh, remove the two caliper mounting bolts using a 13 millimeter wrench. Yeah, that's no problem, we got, let me see, we got a 13 millimeter right here, and uh, got this, where are we at here? Okay, got this right here. Let's see. Oh yeah, I got it. Okay, get this going off there. Okay, that one's kind of loose. Now let's see if we can get this next one loose here. Okay, here we go. Um, come on, get on there. Here we go. Yeah, I totally got them. Woo! Let's spin these guys off there. <laughs> okay, all right, that's the last one. The instructions say we need to pull off this caliper here. Come on. Uh, uh, almost got it, and they say like to, to zip tie it up or something. Um, yeah, whatever, that's good enough. Do I have some, I have something on my face? Uh, anyways, all right, so I think our next step is going to be to remove these um, these bolts right here and take this caliper bracket off. So that looks like a, oh, like an 18 millimeter, I guess. So let me see if I can find that. Let me see, I got my half inch drive ratchet and my 18 millimeter socket. And let's see if we can't break this loose. Ah! 
Yeah, I'm so strong. Man, this is easy. I should probably do this for a living instead of making those ridiculous mall rated videos. I don't even know if anyone watches those anymore. Let me see, let me get on, get on this one right here. Come on, okay. Oh, that one's easy. At least it was loose already. Man, that's really safe, isn't it? I think I'll probably get these by hand now. All right, let's give it a shot. Get this last bolt out of here. Whoa! Oh! Uh, okay, guess I don't need that anymore. Well, good. Remove the caliper slides from the factory bracket. Oh, uh, dang it. Guess I gotta get that. See if that fell down here. This uh, it's like a brake pad. I guess that's probably pretty important. There's like another brake pad here. So that may be important. And then we got, oh, there it is. Factory caliper bracket. Okay, put that right on Dennis. All right, here we go again. Remove the caliper slides from the factory bracket by pulling them out of their factory bores. Apply a dab of caliper slide grease to the slide bore of the new caliper bracket. Um, bearing grease? Probably good enough. Okay, um, grease, grease. Grease, um, slide, 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 Urgh, slide. Oh, that was easy. Let's push that down there like that one and that down there like that one. Awesome. Man, this is really easy. I'm going to clean this grease off my hoof. All right, now next we got to get this worthless factory rotor off here. So I guess all we got to do with this is just kind of wiggle it, wiggle it back and forth a little bit until it finally, you know, comes off. Bye. Okay, the next step, install the Terraflex big rotor onto the vehicle. All right, that sounds pretty easy. Let's just grab this by... Crap, that thing is huge. I better get some help and see if I can. Oh, hi, Anthony. Hey, Andy Gordon. Hey, could you, um, could you lift that thing up on the Jeep for me? Sure. Yeah, I don't want to drop it. It looks expensive. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah, if you could just put that on the Jeep. I did everything else all by myself, so. Oh, very impressive. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, I know it's impressive. Oh, oh look well, look at how easy that was. All right, let's see what the next step is. Okay. Transfer the pad support springs from the factory caliper bracket to the Terraflex caliper bracket. Apply brake grease everywhere the pads contact the bracket to avoid squeaking. All right, these are the brackets. Man, those are tiny. And this is meticulous, boring work, and I don't want to do it at all. So how about you do it for me? Okay. Yeah, did you, do you know what you're going to do here? Yeah, I think do you I have any clue what you're doing? Yes, I'm a trained professional. You're a trained professional. Here you sit at your desk all day and draw pictures. Occasionally Is that what you things. do? Yeah. You work on, yeah, I've seen Lazarus. You work on stuff really well. <laughs> that thing is broken more than it's on the trail. It's because I drive <laughs> like a. You what? Like a what? <laughs> you drive like a what? What is that word? Like an like idiot. Oh, interesting that you said a word before that that we had to bleep out yeah, I, because of the kids that watch the show. Are you done with that yet? Yes, yeah, so This is taking forever. Taking forever. I don't oh. want to stay, Andy Corn. Oh, to be continued. <laughs> All right, you got that done? I did. All right, the next step is install the TerraFlex bracket onto the vehicle using the factory bolt. You know, I don't really want to do this, so why don't, why don't you go ahead and do that? Okay. Now that you're down here, you might as well do something. Make myself useful? Yeah, make yourself useful and install the TerraFlex bracket. The, you want the bolts? Yeah, where are the bolts? I don't know. I threw them. I threw them. Let's see. They're probably... Oh. There's one right there. And, um... The other one is, um... It's somewhere. It's not... I mean, it's not really important, is it? Do you really need... Do you need to have two bolts, or can you just get by with one? No, those are kind of important. All right, well, just a second. I'll help you find it. Holy cow, Andy Ford, you threw this thing pretty far. Yeah, I was angry. <laughs> I see that. You don't want to see me when I'm angry. Oh, I know what happens. It's all right, good. anyways, just bolt that on there. Okay. I'm not keeping you from anything, all right? No, you're okay. Are you, like, drawing something? No, I'm what not are you, drawing. What, what are you drawing? Bumpers. Bumpers? Bumpers. Are they cool bumpers? 
cool. Can I have them on my Jeep? Sure. Oh, sweet. That's going to be awesome. Yeah, so I think it's like righty, loosey, lefty, tighty. Is that how that, how that works? <laughs> Something like that. Righty, loosey, lefty, tighty. Righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. What? That can't be it. That's, that's it. It's got to be righty, loosey. I don't. I don't think these are reverse thread. Oh, I don't even. I don't even know what I'm doing. You know, I don't have a license to be a mechanic or anything. <laughs> can you believe that? Oh, I can believe it. You believe it? I don't have a license. <laughs> yeah. Are you done yet? Are you done? Are you done? No. Huh. Oh, okay. Well, I'll get the wrench then, I guess. All right, Anthony. The instruction said 70 foot pounds, but I mean, really, who even owns a torque wrench? That's ridiculous. It's tight, right? Yeah, tight as you can do it, and then a little tighter, and then that's how. That's probably fine. It's really tight. Are you strong? Oh, I'm pretty strong. Oh, cool. Well, yeah, we don't need a torque wrench then. No, I'm not. They're just brakes, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's not even important. We've got front ones. Yeah, they're not gonna fall. Yeah, who cares if they fall off anyways? <laughs> You think Dennis torques his brakes? No. No, I don't even. You think Dennis even works on his Jeep? Probably not. Yeah, he does not work on his Jeep at all. He does sweep burnouts everywhere, though. Yeah, he shows his show off. He's like, hey, look at my action truck. <laughs> burr, burr, I got a Hemi, I got a Hemi. I think he's compensating. <laughs> For that tiny mustache. That mustache is pretty sweet. It's yeah. not. It's not sweet enough though. He wants to grow a bigger mustache and he can't do it. <laughs> He's jealous of that guy on that car show with the giant mustache. Anyways, is that done? It's done. Okay, great. Let's see the next step. All right, install the pads. You know, I probably should have bought new pads. Yeah. I don't. I don't really have any money though. Like, I don't really understand what money is. So. Let's just install the old pads. Yeah, these look okay. They have some stuff on them. Yeah, I think they're good. I mean, whatever. They're just back brakes, right? It'll stop. So install the pads. You know, in the instructions, they told me that I should, like, wire that brake caliper up. I just let it hang by the hose. Yeah, that's fine. That's what braided lines are for, right? Exactly. Are you confused on how that goes on? No. It's a brake pad. I think you put the, like, semi-metallic end against the rotor, and the metal end goes out. But, like I said, I'm not really sure, so, you know, do whatever you want to do there. Look at that. Oh, not quite. Close? Close one. Okay, well, you, you, look, you seem to be, you're fumbling there. Are you, yeah, that's not, I don't know. Are you having a problem? That's why. This popped out again. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Should I get someone else to help me? No, we're good. Like an ASE certified mechanic, maybe? We don't have one of those. Are you, we don't have one of those here? <laughs> are you certified in anything, really? No. Uh, Sure. Okay. <laughs> Are you, is it frustrating that you're trying to do that with me? Talk, oh, you got it. Yes, yeah, see. Oh, good. great! Congratulations. You're Thank so you. good at this. Anyways, next step: um, install the factory caliper using the original bolts and thread locking. Thread locking compound. What's that? I'm not. I don't think we're worried about that. <laughs> In thread locking compound, <laughs> torque. <laughs> torque. <laughs> All right. Let's put the factory caliper on now. I guess. Okay, you think it's gonna fit over those, or we're gonna have to like do some magic stuff to I'm make it fit? Press this a little bit. Uh, yeah. Okay, well I guess just one sec. All right, didn't say this in the instructions, but I assume what you have to do now is compress the caliper. You would be correct. And I got you this um, you this clamp? yeah caliper clamping tool. I think is what it was called <laughs> officially. Yeah. Uh, official caliper clamp. Continue to use our braided brake line as the uh, holding implement. Yeah, I mean that's fine. I mean it's a, they're strong, right? If they strong they wouldn't be a brake line if they weren't strong. <laughs> Rear calipers are light, anyways. Yeah, they're super light. Anyways, I'll you know I'll let you get to that, and I'll just go you know I'll write some stuff. Okay. All right, bye. Bye. Hey, I'm back. Hello. Did you get that compressed? I did. Oh, cool. Now we can put it on. I think. Excellent. Next step: install caliper. Going on here. You know, look at these shiny rotors and these shiny brackets and these ugly old calipers. It's got a little brake dust on it. Yeah, I mean, if we cared about stuff like that, we would fix it. But we, we don't care about looks at all, do we? Nope. No, that's obvious by your last Jeep. Wow. So, have you ruined Dozer yet? No, Dozer. Is it ruined? It just has beat up parts from my old Jeep. Oh, okay. Is there any tire sparkle on it? No. You need some tire sparkle. No, there's, there's still tire sparkle on Lazarus. Oh, yeah. You were supposed to go to the dunes and get the tire sparkle off, but you didn't go to the dunes, did you? I went with Dozer. Oh, yeah. Did you break it? Nope. Did you jump it? Uh, tried not to. Did you try not to jump it? But you, that means you jumped it. 
There may have been some error. You can't even contain yourself, can no. you? <laughs> not at all. It's not a pre-runner, Anthony, it's a Jeep. It's okay. Have you ever seen a Jeep commercial where they're like launching a Jeep off a sand dune? Yes. No, no, they haven't had that. You're like driving to the mall with like a dog in the passenger seat. <laughs> Jeep, go anywhere as long as it's the mall, am I right? I'm not about that way. Oh, I'm not about that? You don't go to the mall? No. Nope. Oh, okay. I hate the mall. Oh, it's obvious because you the way you dress yourself. <laughs> Anyways, is that tight? It is. So we're like done now. We are. I think we got to put this wheel and tire on. I think you got to put this wheel and tire on. You know how heavy that thing is? Do you want me to help you? Yes, please. Oh, fine. Just a second. <laughs> Let's lower it down so it's lower. That's a good idea. Yeah, so it's lower. All right, you ready to lift this big boy up there? Oh, all, right, all right, here we go. I'm going to help you, okay? Yep. Arr, arr. Arr, you gotta light. You gotta line it up, Anthony. You gotta help me. I can't. No, oh, I gotta help you. Yeah. Oh, can you hold it? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, rotate it. <laughs> Which way? I don't know. Rotate it away. Oh, you're totally screwing up. You're never gonna get this on. You're never gonna get this on here this way. You're terrible at this. You were helping me with directions there. You want me to put down the phone and help you? Right, yeah. All help. right, geez. Just one second. All right. Looks like you're there. Go ahead and just press it on there. Okay. There, yeah. yeah, man, you're so lucky. I helped you with that. I know. I was you never screwed. would have gotten this I ever. Screwed, handy corn. Yeah, never would have gotten it. All right, let's put some lug nuts on it. I guess. Okay. All right. Yeah, go ahead and thread those on. I was having trouble with them earlier because I don't really have thumbs. Yeah, I see that. I, I just kind of have them. hoofs. I don't think hoofs are conducive to threading things on. No, I don't think so either. But I can grab that impact and I can ram those things home. Wonderful. Yeah, you know we're gonna torque them with the impact, right? That's perfect. Yeah, torque capacity, lots of it. <laughs> I think it's got too much. But Never coming off again. Yep. <laughs> Not necessary. We don't have a spare tire anyway, so I mean, whatever. Exactly. Okie dokie. Torque this bad boy on here. Yeah. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. How much? I don't know how much torque that is. It's enough. I mean, if a wheel comes flying off when we're going down the highway, that'll be pretty hilarious. <laughs> hey, look at that. Hey, look at that wheel go. Woo, woo. <laughs> I've heard that happen before. It's not fun. Oh, it's not fun? No, not at all. It seems kind of fun. Uh, no. So you're saying I should torque this? Probably. Oh, fine. All right. That's pretty good. That's the last one. You know, thanks for your help. You're welcome. You know, you're not all that bad. I know that I like... I tease you and make fun of you a lot, but you're pretty cool. So, you know, you want to go out in this thing and just start ripping down the road? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Hoof bump. Hoof bump. Boom. All right, guys. Thanks for watching at the JCR. I mean, Handy Corn Garage. Uh, if you want to give me more free parts, I'll, I'll install them on whatever. So, talk to you later. Whee! What's going on, Anthony? What's going on, Andy? What? <laughs> this is pretty fun, isn't it? It is. Do you have a license? Uh, what's a license? Uh, a little thing they give you to be able to drive these cars? No, I don't have that. Anyways, who cares? We have so much boost. Who needs a license? Ah! <laughs>